Take a look at your screen right now. What a view this morning. Welcome in to Talk of Alabama. Happy, happy Monday. It helps Monday, especially after daylight saving. It helps when it's sunny, right? Happy Monday to you. The fight against breast cancer is gaining a new contender thanks to technology at Brookwood Medical Center. It's called a Koning Vera breast CT machine, and it offers compression free breast cancer screenings. That technology is now available at Brookwood Baptist Medical Center. And this morning, we're joined by the women who are leading the technology charge, Joni Cobb, the supervisor of the Women's Diagnostic Center, and Liz Armstrong, who's the lead technologist at the center. Ladies, thank you so much for being here this morning. Thank you for Thanks having for us. us. This is a really exciting development Absolutely. for Brookwood. You were telling me just a little bit earlier in the break that this is one of five of these types of machines in the country in the country in the whole country you have one of the five yes that is fantastic so what what makes this machine different from the ones people are, are typically used to seeing well the first thing that women are going to love it's compression free mm -hmm. um, which if you um, have ever had a mammogram which um, I don't know if you have or not um, that is the worst part it scares women to death mm. so it's compression free we don't actually even have to touch the patient they lay on a table um, the gown is still on. Mm. They put one breast in a hole, seven seconds around, move over, seven seconds around, you're done in less than three minutes, and we've never even touched you. Wow. Um, and it's an absolute, it's a game changer. Um, it is mainly going to, the purpose for it right now is going to be for diagnostic purposes, like mm -hmm. if you're having problems, if you have a lump, if you've had a history of breast cancer, family history, that is what it's mainly going to be used for now. Mm. And we're just so excited and we're so glad that Brookwood, you know, took the chance and said, hey, we're going to be the first in Alabama to do this for women. So we're super excited about it. That is fantastic. And yes, saying that it's, we're not going to touch you, it's, it's less invasive, Correct. it's less uncomfortable. Liz, mm -hmm. you work with patients all the time. Um, what are some of the concerns that women have when they're walking into that room? So the main fear is just of discomfort, of something's going to hurt. So if we can offer them something where there's no discomfort, uh, I think a lot more people will be willing to come and give us a try. It's a little less scary. Mm -hmm. Yes, certainly. And this is something where it's going to be, it's not going to be used necessarily for the screening, but Correct. for the diagnostics. So, so what does that mean? Well, um, it's not FDA approved for screening. They're going through that process now. Koning is, who's the company that invented this incredible machine. Um, it is FDA approved for, um, for diagnostic purposes. And what that means is, like, and a lot of women have had callbacks to have to have to spot compressions or ultrasounds or things like that. This may can possibly do away with any of that. Mm. Now, you know, if women want to come in and they say, you know, I'm not going to have a mammogram. I'm not going to do it. I'm too afraid then yes, you can come in for screening, but it's not covered by insurance. Good to know. So that is the thing, and you always have to have an order from your physician. We cannot do this. It's not just like you walk in with a mammogram and have it done. We have to have an order from your doctor. Good to know. So there's a little bit of a process yes, there. Yes, yes, um, but, but the company is going through the FDA yes, approval process are. that this could be a screening tool mm -hmm. and, and keep even fewer women from going into the compression machine and, right. and having that, that discomfort and, and a yes. little bit of that fear, yes. too. Right. What does this mean for Brookwood and for Alabama that this machine is here? Well, you know, Brookwood is celebrating 50 years this month, mm -hmm. which is just super exciting. There's so many things going on at Brookwood. And I think this just is another way to show that Brookwood um, is, is you know, reaching out for women's health and women's care. You know, we have the Women's Plaza that has all the, our OB's GYNs in it. Uh, they've upgraded um, the Women's OR. So Brookwood is just reaching out and saying, you know what, we care about you women. We want you to have something that's new in the in the you know, Brookwood is just number one in technology. So we're just super excited about it, and we're just grateful for Brookwood for this. And this so, is the first in Alabama yes, of its mm -hmm. kind, so come to Brookwood. Yes. This is the only place where you can have this done at this yes. point. It, it, exactly, yeah. Something that one of five in the country, I mean, yes. that's huge, and the only yes. one in Alabama, Alabama, certainly. What does this mean for early detection when it comes to breast cancer, and why is that important? Well, the earlier the better. Mm -hmm. You know, the sooner we can find your cancer, the better outcome you're going to have, mm -hmm. less invasive processes you're going to have to have. What this machine does, it gets back a lot further, like a friend of mine had it done, and, and, and you know, when you actually see someone who has had this process done, you can see the rib cage, mm. which means it's getting way back on that chest wall, which cancers will hide, mm. and you may not see them in a mammogram till they're, you know, a lot larger, and you've got to have mastectomies and a lot of chemo, a lot of radiation. I'm not saying this is going to take that away, but they can file it, find it a lot smaller and further back. And so that's that important. Very, early detection is the only way. Is it, The earlier you find this, 
the better lifespan you're going to have. Certainly, yes. So that advancing technology is certainly advancing the fight against yes, breast cancer and, and giving women more options. Um, when can women start making appointments um, for to use this machine or, or talk to their doctor about this? We're looking at the first week of April. Mm -hmm. That's when we're you know going to start hopefully starting to schedule. We're getting the machine. The machine is together. Just doing some final touches on it. Then we have to learn how to use it. Sure. Um, we're super excited about starting that process. Um, we have already. There's a, you know, we've got about 30 waiting to be scheduled. Okay. But you, the mo thing that you need to know is please go see your doctor. Mm -hmm. or discuss it with them. We have done a lot of educating to a lot of the doctors locally to let, let them know how to answer their patients' questions. And so hopefully if they can't answer them, we'll be able to answer them for you. Certainly. So. Ladies, thank you so much thank for your time. You. A very important topic. Thank you so thank much you. for having us. Of Appreciate course. it. Yes, yes.